takes more than wishing on a star to truly bring your animations to life. I'm a real boy! <laughs> The Scratch website is full of all kinds of fun and occasionally amazing animation projects. But one area where a lot of young animators struggle is lip syncing. Which kind of mission? It is a rescue mission. I'm Batman. Professional illustrators spend a lot of time creating mouth positions that match up perfectly with spoken yes. words. That's me. But for beginners, this can be a big hill to climb. A lot of scratchers get around the lip problem by creating animations with very little spoken dialogue or by using clever tricks like the bushy beard on this pirate. Mostly they stick with a very simple on-off approach where the mouth is either open or closed. Hey, it works for anime, so why not? We wanted to try our hand at something a little more sophisticated, so this week we put our artist, Miss Lynn, on the case and asked her to illustrate some professional looking lip animations that you can use in your own projects. We also created a simple little custom block that you can use to time your costume changes so your lip movements are perfectly synced with your dialogue. Execute order 66. Stick around until the end and we'll show you where you can download our Lip Sync Toolkit. In the meantime, if you want to support what we're doing on this channel, please give us a like and make sure you subscribe so we can keep giving you more amazing Scratch tutorials. So two mouth positions obviously isn't enough to create realistic speech. But how many lip costumes do we need to make a believable mouth? Not as many as you'd think. One of the reasons it's so hard for people with hearing impairments to read lips is that when you mute the audio, a lot of vocal sounds look pretty much identical to each other. This lip shape that Miss Lynn created represents the letter C, but it also works for D and N and S and T and a couple more sounds. This creates a bit of a problem if your dialogue contains letter combinations like st that both use the same mouth movement. We fix that by making some very subtle changes to a few of the lip and tongue positions to make each one unique. St one other problem we're going to run into is that some sounds, blends like th, uh, sh, and u, don't match up with just one letter of the alphabet. So we're going to need to toss in some extra costumes for those sounds. To keep things simple, I've set up a separate costume for every letter of the alphabet and attached each letter to a keyboard event so we can quickly preview what a word is going to look like by typing keys on the keyboard. To make our lip movements believable, Hello. we're going to have to make a series of costume changes and carefully Hello. control the timing so it syncs Hello. up with our audio file. There are a few different ways you can set this up, but to help get you started, we built this custom block to control our lip sync timing. Start by finding or recording a sound clip you want to act out. Let's trigger it to play with a start sound command. To infinity and beyond! Now let's type the first couple of words of dialogue into the input bubble and hit the green flag. To infinity the lips are making the right shape, but the timing is off. You can add a half second delay at any point in your dialogue by typing the number 5. To infinity. If you need to fine tune things further, you can insert the number one, which adds one tenth of a second delay. To infinity and beyond! You'll want to sprinkle a few more of these little delays in after the long vowels in the clip. Vowel sounds like ah uh and i uh tend to stretch out a little bit longer than consonant sounds. So let's sprinkle in a few ones after our vowel sounds and test it again. To infinity and beyond! That looks pretty good now. Let's try another example. Our software is smart enough to recognize blend sounds like th and treat them differently. These sounds also take a little longer to say, so let's add a small delay after the th sound to make it more visible. Hello there. Remember that you're writing down sounds here and not actual spellings, so sometimes you need to purposely misspell words to make them look right on the screen. When the Emperor famously executes Order 66, 
He doesn't say order. He actually says order. Execute order 66. Don't get hung up on getting every lip movement perfect. Mostly they go by so quickly that no one will know the difference. The key is to get the long sounds and pauses timed properly. I believe that children are the future. Unless we stop them now. If you want to have some real fun, try lip syncing the music. On the good ship, lollipop, it's sweet trip to a candy shop. If you're syncing to a long song, try cutting the song into smaller pieces so you can work on the synchronization a little at a time. And dream away. Oh,